Greetings programs, it is I, the CPU001, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Deponia Doomsday. Yes, it is the fourth game in the Deponia series. Um, Daedalic Entertainment released this about a month ago, and they said, Hey, look what we've been working on, and we're releasing it the following week. Surprise! Everyone was like, okay! And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have any money at the time, so I couldn't buy it. So, but, um, yeah, now I have it. And as I have played the other three games, well, I need to play the fourth game as well. So, let us begin. The end was never our creation. It was there all this time. All we did was tempt it. The same way a surfer tempts fate. Or tempts a shark by trying to outswim it. <laughs> a for effort. We crafted spears against beasts, built walls against spears, ladders against walls, and towers against ladders. After that, we built boats, ramparts, chimneys, shaving foam pie catapults, and when all our trash threatened to swallow even our highest spires, we built a spaceship. Powered by nothing less than the destruction of our own planet. The preparations took decades. What was meant to be an ark became a home. My home. Elysium. None of us ever thought there were thousands of clueless survivors down in that trash. Our bastion of hope became a herald of doom for Deponia. Fortunately, the tables turned. One of those clueless people foiled the plan. <laughs> he saved Deponia and all who were left behind. And he saved me by falling for me. Literally. The end. Oh! Oh, you don't like this ending? Still hoping for something more... upbeat? Well, it's like I said. Endings and sharks. Don't tempt them. Though, I gotta admit, even after all this time, I, I keep asking myself, if I was able to turn back time, what would I change? What would be the better ending? Or do I just want it to never end? Good opening. Very good opening. Hmm. Sounds familiar. Ish. He looks cold. This place was pure hell. Who am I kidding? Where was it these days? I had to leave old Jeremiah behind. His own damn fault. I have to give it to him. He was as fast as they came at changing a tire. But he was too damn slow at getting me a slushy. At least we shook those ravening few bucks. I had to hurry. Yeah. Do I want to play a tutorial? No, I've already done it. Okay, so... We jump down the ladder. Who is this strange, mysterious, hooded person? We will find out in due course, right. I have already done this sequence, so I need to grab this spray can down here. And put that up. And I've got a lighter on me here. What I need to do is combine the spray can and the lighter. And I get... Flamethrower. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay, now if we go back to our trusty vehicle. The Edward Snowman. The Edward Snowman was no beauty. It was all I had left. There you go. We'll climb back up the ladder. We're going to get to this toolbox here. Frozen toolbox. Even the box with the emergency blowtorch was frozen shut. Pretty damn ironic. <laughs> and we use our flamethrower on the toolbox. We get our blowtorch. Lovely. Right, okay, and then we gotta go back down the ladder. Because game mechanics. Because I actually need to go out here. 
Right, okay, we want to come over to here and want to use it on. What is this graffiti? I never click this. Some punk had sprayed no hope on the blast tower door. <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. Ooh. Okay, uh, we use the blowtorch on the that bolt. The bolt didn't look like you could saw through it, but I got this far and I was going to finish it to the end. I like the blowtorch. Actually, you have to click and hold it. Which is a new mechanic. That's a friend. Don't know about it. Each of these until they're all nice and quite hot. Oh, maybe not. It was easier to cut through the seal than I thought. I almost wished it had taken longer. Now the way was clear. Uh, here's a new mechanic as well. I've got to rapidly flick it. Oh! <laughs> Hey! Go. Hey! Let go! No! Use the pipe instead. Now, hit it. Let go! Let go! Thank you. And again with the clicking. Get a Come on, click. And fill that up. And then quickly pull down the inventory, grab the pole, stick it in the lock. Ah, uh, good. The view punched the icy breath from my chest. You could see everything from up here. The destruction. The hopelessness. And the button that would simultaneously release the bomb clamps in countless blast towers all over Deponia. Who would put this sort of fail-safe mechanism in to begin with is the obvious question. There it lay in the snow. Broken, burnt out, and shattered. Elysium. Symbol of hope. <laughs> Talk about kitsch. <laughs> uh, for all the comedy in this get every for all the comedy in this series, the, the the story is surprisingly serious. So yeah, we don't have much of a choice here. Down my spine when I saw the bomb. Probably just snow in my hood. Hit the button. Yeah. Huh. I guess that's it. The end of. <laughs> Frog in my throat. <laughs> the end of the road for me. Huh? Ah, oh, typical. Even Armageddon is rusted over. Just you wait. Uh, blind panic. Must climb up. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, we <laughs> Hey there, big fella. No. Forget it. No. Forget it. Now. Forget it. Now. Stop that. I don't know what a few lock is. <laughs> Kick the clown. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Geronimo! Bonia Doomsday. You old amorotic pinhead, act like the thing is not dead and didn't run into a brick wall and fulfilled already. Let me help you fill the gap in memory. Living in the waste was unto your taste, but soon you will gaze truth straight in the face. All rivers run eventually to the sea. At the sage, it's evident there will be no happy end. Suck it up, princess, no one cares for your tears. It's over and I've no dance to give for second thoughts that you're stuck with. Looking for loopholes and wondering what if. Huzzah! <laughs> ah, something else I missed. Mm -hmm. 
What a nightmare! I was old and had a mustache. All my friends were dead, and Elysium had fallen from the sky. Also, I blew the pony up. Talk about sick. I mean, a mustache? Really? <sighs> Luckily, everything's the way it was before. I can hardly wait to tell my sweet Tony about it. Wait. What? Sweet Tony? <gasps> Are we, like, back at the very beginning? Like, before? My god, where are we? Okay, uh, there's a wrench there. Pick that up. Stove. It's not lit. Huh, fire's gone out. No wonder I was dreaming about nuclear winter. <laughs> there's a bubble wrap. Bubble wrap from the post office. What was I gonna do with it again? Yeah, whatever. I'll just leave it here until I remember what I wanted it for. <laughs> so now he's not gonna pick it up until he remembers what he needs it for. Eh. Ah, typical Rufus. Right, okay. Back outside. Okay. Sweet! The balloon filled with gas while I slept. Now, all I have to do is adjust the flame, and then it's to Elysium and beyond! Tony won't believe her eyes. <laughs> I better get her crystal glasses back. Not that anything would happen to them. No. Okay, there's a throttle there. That's to lift the balloon. Goes back into the balloon. There's a rope there. Don't need that yet. The signpost. These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. <laughs> if Tony didn't want her glasses broken, then why did she pile them up like that? Very good point. Time to get to work. No, stop! This seems vaguely familiar somehow. That's exactly the way things happened in my dream! I had forgotten the bubble wrap, and that's when everything went to pieces. Tony was so angry that we broke up. And then I uncovered an organon conspiracy and started a revolution? Well, note to self, stay away from sampling the adhesives before bed. That's one hell of a dream. Now we know why he needs the bubble wrap. So, back inside. Give me my bubble wrap. Okay, back outside. These visions aren't all bad. I should become a prophet. Nina, Nina, let me through. I'm a prophet. <laughs> huh? Hey, Good. stop! You can't park here. You. Oh boy! Somehow uh -oh. my vision missed this. Uh-oh. I wasn't supposed to happen. Hey, you. Hello. You can't park here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, through. Let's go through and find out who we're dealing with. Hey, you there! Is this your pile of junk? Please keep away from it. And from me too, for that matter. I'm not even meant to be here. Oh yeah? Well, I couldn't agree more. But since you're here... Who are you anyway? Who are you anyway? My name is Irrelevant. Just ignore me. I'd love to, Mr. Irrelevant. Strictly speaking, I'm actually not meant to be talking to you, at least as long as it isn't quite clear whether or not we belong in the same universe. Signs are kind of pointing towards no. Even minor contact is to be avoided at all costs. Do you understand? No contact. Contact? Uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing there anyway? You don't want to know that, believe me. <laughs> totally. Then stop asking me questions. No contact. It's essential. Tough. What have you done? I'm not allowed to talk about that, it's... One minute, what did I just do? You destroyed my girlfriend's glasses when you parked! Heavens to Betsy! Do you know what that means? I have possibly triggered a catastrophe of apocalyptic proportions! Yeah, but she usually calms down after a couple of days. You misunderstand me! I'm talking about ash rain, magma flows, perpetual darkness! Yeah, that sounds about right. You've met Tony. Got it. But that doesn't make those glasses whole again. You're right. 
I must do something. After all, you're the one who ruined them. Let me think. Think faster. There's one possibility, but it would be very dangerous. Yikes! You don't mean... Yes, there's no choice. Don't be a fool. There must be another solution. If there is, I can't think of it. I fear my decision is final. I will... No! Turn back time. No! You... What? what? Oh, I thought you wanted to apologize. But your suggestion sounds better. Good thinking. Bravo. Uh, perhaps you didn't understand me correctly. I said that I'm going to travel back in time. Yep, go ahead. Super plan. But you aren't surprised at all? You must have a million questions, surely. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing here? What happened to no contact? What's the square root? What's of the square root of 237169? 487. But I actually meant another sort of question. One where the solution isn't so obvious, I know. Nah. What happened to no contact? What happened to no contact? Well, it's a bit late for that now. The unspeakable has occurred. But we can make it unoccur if we follow my plan. Bring rubber boots back into fashion? Nonsense. I mean... Turn back time. Say, do you keep hearing that strange sound too? <laughs> um... Who are you anyway? Who are you anyway? My name is McChronicle. I work at Junk Trade University in Porto Rustica. You're a professor? Of what? Stupid hats? My area of expertise is temporal physics. I'm researching anomalies in the fourth axis of space-time. Really? Then you can probably answer a time-related question for me. Very possibly. When, dear Mr. McComicon? Yes? Mm -hmm. When? When did I ask you for your life story? <laughs> Uh, what do you mean, turn back well, time? what do you mean, turn back time? As I said, I have invented a device which can avoid accidents after they've happened. It saves an image of the space-time before I reverse park. You invented a time machine and used it as a parking assistant? You, Macrona Crispies, are a four-dimensional <laughs> wuss. Actually, I really shouldn't be using it. Just imagine if this technology were to get into irresponsible hands. Too yes, late. that would be bad. Where do I turn this thing on? I should never have come here. A mistake easy to correct. By my... turning this crank here? No! Wait! Aww. Nina, Nina, let me through! I'm a prophet! <laughs> huh? What's this little itch on my fontanelle? Could it be the synaptic sensation of my remembering things that haven't happened yet? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Rufus! Huh? What? Wait a minute, I know you. You're Mr. McCromnickle. McCronicle. But that means you remember? You bet I remember. You're the one who ran over the glasses. Astounding. Not half as astounding as your lousy face furniture, but while we're on the topic of astounding, how the hell is all this possible? Let's talk about that in a minute. Could you help me to park first, please? I don't want to repeat performance of that little episode just now. Not just now. You mean soon? No. It would have been just now, right now. Oh, great. This could turn out to be another one of those days. You ready? Sure. What the hell? Hit it! The space-time continuum is screwed. Okay, so we've got two buttons, a stop, and a come on. So. Come on. Come on. He hasn't moved yet. Come so. on. Come on. Still not moving. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's Come on. Come on. Come on. Ha! What? Uh... Did we just see an elephant? Something strange is going on here. What the hell was that? Uh-oh. Huh? What? Oh no, not again! <laughs> okay. Back to McCornigal. Well, uh, did it work? Nope. No, you ran over the glasses again. Well, why didn't you shout stop? I was distracted. Um, apropos, you didn't happen to see a pink elephant, did you? Have you been drinking? Strictly speaking, lots, yes. But it doesn't mix with my medication. So it would appear. Yes. My reflexes are way below standard. Otherwise, the elephant would never have gotten away from me. Now, where's the stupid thing hiding? 
<laughs> uh, yeah, we don't know about that. Let's talk to McCormick. Hey, Mac. World come to an end yet? I fear so. But only be sure when it happens again. Okay, and... And? Caught any temporal anomalies yet? That's not how it works. Maybe you're holding the fishing rod the wrong way around. It's not a fishing rod. It's a device with which you can measure quantum superimpositions. <laughs> and then you wonder when no one takes the bait? Eh, eh. Um... There's a pink elephant running around here that keeps bothering me when I'm guiding you back. A pink elephant? That's highly unsettling. It could be the vanguard of a pink stampede. Or the time reset is having a detrimental effect on your central nervous system. No, oh, impossible. I injected hot lead into my nervous system to double my imagination. I can't imagine how that would work. Well, I can. Kids, don't try that at home. That's not a good idea. Uh, anyway. Do you think my dream might also be a temporal anomaly? Possible? What was it about? I saved an Elysian from the Organon, and together we... Well, spare me the details, please. I'm sure that it was only a dream, and a rather common one at that. You have no idea. Um... Okay, um... Let's turn my time. Yep. See you sooner or later. Neither can be ruled out. Yeah. All right, okay, let's have a little look around here. Now, we've got a, a door over here. What? Burnett has already closed up? Ah, oh, I wanted emergency flares in case my highly flammable gas balloon catches fire. <laughs> there's a nilbot. There's a nilbot down here. What's this? A machine that does nothing. No wonder it landed in the garbage. Okay. Let's go talk to nilbot. Let's have a look at nilbot a minute. Hey! Door. Hatch. Component to the right, component to the left. Hmm. Strange spherical like sockets. Hmm. I smell power inverters. Ooh, ice cubes. Huh. What we need here is a suitable container. Aww. Won't let me take any at the moment. Okay. Close your back up. Don't need to be here there, uh, yet. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, oh, never again. You hear that, Tuck? Never ever again. Oh, who am I kidding? Everything comes back eventually. Lovely. And there we go. Okay. Tuck. You can always rely on Tuck to stagger through the village after closing time. Yep. Hi, Tuck. <coughs> and a lovely day to you, too. Yeah. So that last Nats piss was a little off, was it? It's always the last drinks of Nats piss that are the worst. Well, maybe you just don't know when it's time to stop. Do you know then? Ha! Huh. I always thought it was when you feel things couldn't get any better. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. The pitcher goes up to the mouth until one buckles. Believe me, it's always the last bottle of Nat's Piss that finishes you off. Lovely. Um, you should stop drinking. Stopping is not the problem. It's the starting again that I can't seem to stop. Yeah. Um... What day is it today? <laughs> it has me thinking that I was drunk. Can't you hear the music? It is, of course, Barbecue Thursday. Barbecue Thursday? Which year? Um, everything okay with you, Rufus? So-so. I had the strangest dream. I met an Elysian, and the two of us saved Deponia, just to ultimately blow it up myself. But Barbecue Thursday in Kuvak, that would mean none of that ever happened. The floating black market. Bozo! Doc! That just can't be true! My fans are gonna freak if they find out that my adventures never happened! Huh? What fans? Ah! No. Rufus was never saved never famous! Rufus never saved the world! Oh my god! What do we do? Let's find Tony. Do you know where I can find Tony? She's in Lonzo's bar. Unbelievable that she managed to beat me at Down in One. At Lonzo's? That means I have to go through the entire idiot parade. You got a barbecue Thursday hangover too? 
<laughs> I understand completely. Luckily, one doesn't get asked to square dance with six stuck to one's face. <laughs> um, look at my visions. Do you know anything about visions? You mean stuff like pink elephants? I always thought that was a bit of a dumb cliché. But there really is one of those about the place today. Yeah, anyone can do pink elephants. I saw the future. Nice for you. Not even close. It's gonna be terrible. Uh, oh, you're probably right. I'm dreading tomorrow morning, too. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. I have to prevent my vision of the future from becoming reality. Professional advice? Loads of alcohol reliably helps against even the most stubborn futures. <laughs> I saw the pink elephant too. I saw the pink elephant too. Really? Yep. A real pain in the butt. It keeps distracting me every time I try to save Tony's glasses. That means that I'm not a complete idiot after all. Look, I wouldn't be jumping to any hasty conclusions if I were you. <laughs> Will you help, me scare, Will you help me scare the pink elephant off? It's gone already! I don't mean now, but... Earlier. You want me to help you chase away an elephant from your past? <laughs> Been there, done that, got the medal. I got exactly the same problem with my wife, Trudy. My strategy? <laughs> Drink to forget. Well, completely wrong. The trick, in fact, is to remember when time repeats itself. Huh? How am I meant to remember something that hasn't even happened yet? <laughs> easy. You just have to, uh, get, uh, yeah, so, uh, how does that actually work? I should probably ask McChronicle about that. You do that. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Stay vertical. Draw me a sketch. Okay, we've got to go back. Now we go back to McChronicle. And we talk to him. Should have a new option. Hey, Mac, do you have a minute? Given the context, would you like to rephrase that question? I'll take that as a yes. Okay. Um, how can we remember everything that's uh, after turning the crank? How come we remember everything after turning the crank and no one else does? Yes. Wait a minute. That is actually an astoundingly good question. So. I've invented this very complicated headgear for this purpose, but you... Your tinfoil hat protects your memory? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. For an egghead brain box, maybe. Case solved for me. Dr. Gizmo had to implant this metal plate after someone sabotaged my catapult plan. Well, that could be a factor, but the screening only works if the hat is also lined with straw. Did that Dr. Gizmo insert straw into you as well? Straw? Oh, well, main thing, it works, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, get rid of the elephant right away. Yeah. See you sooner or later. Neither can be ruled out. Okay, now, so we need some tinfoil and a straw. Right, here's where we head into town. 